Hey guys, this is Brian from Nitobi and the Phone Gap Project, and I'm going to show you a little bit more in depth of the Droid Gap script. So, I'm in my terminal. You can see up over here that I'm running my emulator, um, which you could see before probably too. It's just sort of a good practice to have this thing going or have a device plugged in. Um, I think, yeah, I'm on my desktop. So I'm going to run droid gap gen foo. Droid gap gen is going to generate a project called foo. So let's go take a look at foo. Foo is just uh, HTML and CSS. Nothing special going on there really at all. Um, and what's in there isn't actually all that important. Now run droid gap create. And this is going to turn this into an Android project. It's not going to do it in the same folder. We're going to do it one folder up, and we're going to call it foo underscore Android. Um, this is sort of a working convention. We want to make this better at some point, but this will do for the moment. And so all this is doing is taking index.html, a master CSS, and adding it to a phone gap Android project. So Let's jump out of Foo and let's go into Foo Android. And if we look at that, it's just a straight up, good old fashioned Android project, ready for us to go. If you're familiar with Android, we can run Ant and it gives us a whole bunch of tasks uh, for doing our development, which is fine. We got help, we got clean, we got compile, debug, release. If I just do an Ant debug install this is going to take all these assets, bundle them up and throw them on the emulator. Um, we could also just do droid gap run this works perfectly fine. Um, either way is good. Droid gap run will will do the same thing as run that, that one liner. Uh, it looks like it built okay. It's just going through the last steps of installing. To our emulator, I should probably note this is a lot quicker uh, when when you run this against a device. Sweet, we see success. So let's check it out. is come on baby this will run a lot faster and you're not doing screen casting Or if you build it to your device. And there we go, phone gap Android, ready for you to hack on.